Good afternoon. Welcome to the Sunset Safari. You are with me live here on Eco Training Pridelands, which is very close to a town called Hoodspret in the northeastern parts of South Africa along the western boundary of the Greater Kruger. My name is Chris Erasmus, and with me on camera ops behind me is Panda Glitz. And what a way to start the afternoon. That was, in a way, our plan is to look for elephants. Well, we've got an, an elephant which is great, and it's drinking water. Quite a lovely afternoon, I must say. It is nice and warm, and at its peak, it was around 27 degrees earlier. It's probably gone down to about 24, 25 now. Lovely autumn day. Sunny, not a cloud in the sky. So what we have here is a lone elephant bull. Hi there, Angela. Definitely elephants for the win. So our aim is to find a nice herd with some calves, with some babies. That's kind of like what I'm looking to find. Mothers and babies. And there's a reason for that, which I'm not going to reveal yet. And that is coming up soon in the next couple of days. So the beautiful breeding herd of elephants that's just come down to Treehouse Dam. Of course, my favorite dam here on a Juma property. I love this dam. Always got to see so many elephant pool parties here. And once again, a nice herd of elephants. So it's just uh, made their way into this area. Quite a big one, but uh, unfortunately, let me go a bit forward, Odie. I think it's only, we're all, we're all gonna go behind the bush. So they were like all in the open not long ago, and now they just went all behind this bush. I was going to stop just, just want to level out the car or the vehicle. Let's see if that's going to work. Let's see if that's going to work. But this is so nice. A few little babies. Hello. So there's like one, two, two small ones. Maybe like a year, year and a half old calves. And there's another one, like about three. It looks like there's about three of them here that's under the age of four years old. Much, much younger compared to the one on the far right there. Oh, there's another little one coming into the frame. Of course, elephants rely a lot on water, so you'll find at least uh, twice a day um, the elephants will come down to some sort of water hole or maybe down to the river and have a good drink, making sure they get enough to drink. Up in Madikwe, I've got exactly what I have been looking for yesterday and today some elephants. Now we're right next to one of the water holes. I'm not surprised to see them here at all because it is scorching hot and I'm hoping we get to see them come down and have a drink. Now there was a giraffe here but believe it or not by some severe intimidation tactics from this beautiful baby elephant the giraffe has run away. <laughs> we were getting the cutest little baby elephant charges at this giraffe and the giraffe just high-tailed it out of here. So we're left to enjoy a baby exploring all the smells and textures on the ground with its feet and its trunk. Trying to find a bird or something to chase. <laughs> and mom is just relaxing in a thicket in the background there. How lucky are we? The tables have turned. The elephants, even that teenager that was drinking, has been properly chased off by a massive journey of giraffes. I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there's a 12th behind us. 12 giraffes all spread out and all coming down to drink. This is so cool. Oh, let's watch this big one. Watch the front legs. <laughs> it's like a bow. Such a dark giraffe. Look at this. Well, everybody, have you ever seen anything cuter than what we're witnessing here? June is doing some mobile bathing. The cubs are 
wandering around. We were asked earlier if they do venture off. Well, they've been a couple of metres, or one of them went two or three metres away from the, the den site. You can see off he goes again. <laughs> um, but every time they do so, this sort of happens. There's a little bit of discipline, and uh, she grabbed one by the scruff of the neck earlier and was just sort of mouthing it. Obviously no malicious intent at all, but that's how they transport them. Pick them up by the scruff of the neck and sort of they automatically go fairly limp and allow themselves to be carried. That's sort of a, a classic biological response. Although I have seen these hyenas as well pick up cubs by the leg and all sorts and just carry them around. <laughs> I'm trying to hide behind that one little branch. Look at those little eyes. Like little moles. I love the way the look at the uh, the skin folds on those front feet as well. Just those eyes seeing all this for the first few days of their lives. I think they keep getting distracted. These crested Franklins are still rustling around in the grass quite close by, and I think that's what keeps attracting the attention of the young ones. And they keep wandering off to go and investigate. Oh, what's wrong with your back legs? Oh, there we go. We're working again now. <laughs> Those lazy back legs sometimes. Now we raced to get to this particular point, hoping to catch the last little view of the sun, and we didn't. But with the days where there's almost no clouds, you're going to get this beautiful golden dome. And you can see it developing there. Just like a, this arc of light, which is quite pretty. So think for the next minute let's just let's just appreciate this in total silence and listen out for the sounds yo let's look at those colors now there's that purple that I was mentioning that mauve on top there it's like layers and you get the like more warmer colors closer to the horizon. Isn't that spectacular? That's pretty. That is so pretty. Wow, that was exquisite.